Hello and uh, how are you doing? I hope each and every one is okay. Now on the screen here is a question, a sample question that uh, I went over when I was uh, doing a lot of marking in your papers and I noticed many students were unable to score all the marks in this question. So I want to guide you through how to handle this question and I hope you'll take this as a learning lesson so that whatever method will be used in carrying out this question, I want you to be very careful and um, pull your pen and uh, your books, then let's get started. Okay, now the question states that uh, you're supposed to use logs to evaluate now on the numerator here we have 6.373 log of 4.98 then all over the denominator we have the square root of 0 0.004636 now the first thing we will do is to write this number now I've already come up with a table and this table is divided into three columns and the first column where we have to write is the number. Whatever is here on the numerator I'll have to write it here. So the number here will be 6.373. Now when I write this number in standard form it will be 6.373 now make sure you multiply that by 10 now I haven't moved the decimal place in any direction therefore that will be times 10 raised to power 0 then I proceed to this other one now first of all before we write this number we need to get the log of 4.98 so what will be the log of 4.98 the logarithm of 4.98 will be equivalent to 0 0.6944 now if you don't know where I got this 0 0.6944 I want to revisit uh, the form 1 I want you to revisit uh, the subtopic on how to find the logarithm of numbers uh, using a four-figure mathematical table. Now the next thing we'll have to do is to write this number in standard form. And when we write that in standard form, it will be uh, 6.9. 4, 4. Then we have to multiply that by 10. Now the decimal place, the decimal point has moved from the left towards the right. Therefore that will be by 1. It has only moved one step towards the right. So up to this point, now we can be able to work out the numerator where we want to get the logarithm of 6.373 and the logarithm of 6.944. Now this is times 10 raised to power negative 1. Now let me check out this very fast from my four figure table and I notice that uh, the logarithm of 6.373 is uh, point eight zero four three now this raised to power zero will be the first number here now again we move to this other one now the logarithm of uh, six point nine four four now six point nine four four will be six point nine four four will be point eight four one six now this negative one will be written here as bar one now because we have a multiplication sign between these two numbers we'll need to add them up so we'll find the sum now when we add these two 
it will be 3 added to 6 that will be 9 4 added to 1 will be 5 4 added to 0 will be 4 8 added to 8 will be 16 carry 1 then 1 added to negative 1 will be 0 I hope that is okay up to that point now the next thing we need to focus on is on the denominator and the number in the denominator is uh, 0 0.00 0. let me just slide my camera to the position where you are able to see that clearly 0 0.00 um, 4 six three six now i have to write this in its standard form and that will be four point six three six now multiply that by ten raise to now the decimal point will move how many times three times and since it's towards the right from the left that will be negative three so let's check in from our log tables what is the log of uh, 4.636 and the log of 4.636 will be 0 0.6661 now this bar 3 will be here negative 3 from here remember there is a square root sign it means we need to multiply this by a half so you multiply in this log by a half now that takes us to another operation when we notice that the denominator and the whole number here are indivisible or they cannot directly divide each other we split this number into two parts we will have a characteristic that will be an even number and a mantissa and this is what i mean so when you split this, it will be bar 4 plus, now here will be 1.6661. So this will be the characteristic and this will be the mantissa. Now remember all this you are dividing by, by 2. It's the same as multiplying by a half. So 2 will cancel with bar 4. We'll have here bar 2 then we'll add to this will be 0 0.8 okay then that will be 3 i hope i've not lost anyone there then this will be 3 and here will be 0 and finally 5. from there now we combine these two and we'll be able to get by two point eight three three now uh i'll because this five is uh, this number here is greater than five let me just round it off to five significant numbers five significant figures so here will be one now that is therefore the logarithm of the square root of zero point zero zero four six three six from there remember this was the numerator and the numerator when we worked it out we got this and the denominator is this so we we'll need to find the difference between these two so we we'll need to subtract mm -hmm. we subtract now when we subtract those two numbers 9 minus 1 will be equivalent to 8 okay 5 minus 3 will be equivalent to 2 all right 4 minus 3 will be equivalent to 1 now 6 minus 8 cannot take place but when we borrow 1 here so we'll have 16 and here we'll have bar 1 therefore we'll say 16 minus 8 that will be equivalent to 8. Now remember there's a decimal point here and there's also a decimal point here. So I'll have to put it there. 
Now this is bar 1 minus bar 2. So negative 1 minus minus 2. This is the same as negative 1 plus 2. And that is equivalent to 1. So we'll have here positive 1. I hope up to that point each and every one is okay. Now, in the second part, we need to calculate the antilog. So let us calculate the antilog of this. Now we are taking it back to its number form. So the first thing we saw that in this case, these numbers raised to 10 formed what we call the characteristic part of our logarithms so we'll have to do the same so here will be times 10 raised to power 1 then we find the antilog so let's get the antilog of point 81 28 now the antilog of point 81 28 will be uh, 6.4 Nine eight, so that will be six point four nine eight. From there, now we convert it back to its number form, and that should be sixty four point nine eight. Therefore, the final correct answer for this sum will be. 64.98 If there's any part of this video you are unable to understand, I advise you repeat, you replay it, and you watch it over and over again. Also, make sure when you're watching such a video, you also have a, a place or a surface you can write on because in mathematics when you write that is when you are able to clearly understand well i hope this was very helpful and i'd like to see you again next time bye bye